we knew that we wanted an entry point into this world through the eyes of a kid or a true innocent, someone who more or less comes of age during this film. This idea of calling a demon that plays children's games, we saw it as an opportunity to talk about family and particularly families dealing with trauma. We wanted the kids and the family to feel real. ¿Por qué mi familia acabó protagonizando la crónica negra de la década? That for us was the way that it would matter and the way that you could kind of smuggle a coming of age drama and a family drama into a horror movie. Marcos, ¿vas a venir? I play a young man called Marcus. He ends up getting possessed. And so you see the real sort of darkest side of Marcus come out. So Joe, he's the youngest of three siblings and his character really evolves in a very quick amount of time in one night. I play Billy Fletcher, and she's kind of taken on a bit of the caretaker role for her brothers. Vale, yo, ¿a qué quieres jugar? Everything starts happening. It's kind of go, go, go. What moments can you find to show what the, the connection is among all of the crazy, crazy stuff? I play a girl named Sophie. She is the best friend of Billy. She ends up in this like insane situation. But yeah, I think that ultimately she's loyal to the end. <laughs> you have Natalia Dyer doing something you haven't really seen her do before. Asa Butterfield definitely doing something you haven't seen before. So we're really proud of the fact of getting to work with these great actors, but also we were lucky enough to find newer faces like Laurel Marsden, who's just a star, like amazing. She added some really, really amazing comedic relief. Ben, he's like a classical trained actor. It's just a joy to see actors this skilled push beyond what they've already done creating the demon to make the demon feel kind of original and scary. For an actor, it's quite kind of liberating to be like, just we totally let it out. We have fantastic actors. It has made this experience so much fun. All of the life and the energy that hopefully you'll see when you see the movie is because of them. The foundation of the story ultimately is just like how you'll go to the ends of the earth for the people that you care about. Eso es un cuchillo. Yo se acabó. Te dije que no se acabó.